Biology is a huge, diverse field that studies all living organisms. While all biologists need to have some basic understanding of chemistry, physics, math, and statistics, they don't have to become specialists in them. But why do you suppose they need to have a basic understanding of the other sciences? All sciences are connected to each other in some form. At times, they may overlap. When they do, we call these interdisciplinary sciences. This means they cover more than one field of study. Let's take a closer look at some examples. Biochemistry is the application of chemistry to the study of biological processes at the cellular and molecular level. It emerged as a separate discipline around the beginning of the 20th century when scientists combined chemistry, physiology, and biology to investigate the chemistry of living systems. For example, understanding how biological molecules affect the processes that occur within living cells and between cells is a study within biochemistry. The term biophysics was originally introduced by Carl Pearson in 1892. Biophysics is the application of the laws of physics to biological processes. For example, studying electrical activity in the brain or examining neural circuits in brain tissue are both examples of biophysical models. Also known as mathematical biology, biomathematics is an interdisciplinary field that uses mathematical techniques and tools to model biological processes. Mathematics has been used in biology as early as the 12th century. For example, it can be used for basic raw data gathering that's useful in tracking changes over time. In the 18th century, Daniel Bernoulli applied mathematics to describe the effect of smallpox on the human population. The study of how different species and ecosystems are distributed over the planet and through time is called biogeography. The first discoveries that contributed to the development of biogeography as a science began in the mid-18th century, as Europeans explored the world and described the biodiversity of life. For example, in biogeography, we look at how the environment and humans affect the distribution of species. Then there's bioeconomics. People combine the discipline of economics and biology to discover theories explaining economic events using a biological basis and vice versa. For example, there are fewer bees in the world today, which has a negative impact on the ecosystem. In bioeconomics, we apply concepts of demand and supply to biological situations. In this case, the demand for bees in the ecosystem has increased and therefore we must find a way to sustain them. All these interdisciplinary sciences widen the scope of knowledge and thus the career potential of biology. While medicine has been a common field for biologists, new careers have since opened up. Aside from becoming a doctor or a surgeon, there are other careers. For example, you can be an agriculturist and deal with food crops and animals, or a biotechnologist. They work for the production of useful products through microorganisms. To summarize, biology is a diverse field that has led to the development of many interdisciplinary sciences, and the study of it can lead to a diverse scope in careers.